This was the afternoon that Buckeye Central could clinch at least a share of the N10 title, and they would have to pull it off at Blue Devil Country, home to a carry team carrying the league's longest overall winning streak, a streak that included a victory over the two-time reigning league champions of Seneca East. For this game, Carey jumped on the Buckheads early with three seniors, Helena Teal, Sadie Yard, and Ellison Roar. Kylie Brown made a layup in transition for Buckeye, and Taylor Ratliff was able to drain a three. But backcourt mate Claudia Pfeiffer was commanding attention from Carey, working to deny the intense scoring leader any clean looks. Pfeiffer was able to break loose for a layup, a single bucket that belied what was an uncharacteristically cold start for Claudia. At the end of one, Carey led 12 to eight. In the second quarter, Arndt continued to grind while Buckeye Central compiled a growing number of scoreless possessions. Emily Cecil interrupted a carry run with a layup, but the Blue Devils returned to the point making. While the Devils' defense was holding up, the Buckets were bringing their own brand of physicality, and Carey was largely overcoming it. By halftime, it was clear that the Buckets were showing almost no resemblance to the team that dominated Carey in New Washington by 46 points in a game that was played just four weeks earlier. Down by 10 at the break, the pressure was undeniable. Losing would pull Carey to within a game of Buckeye Central, keeping the title race alive with three remaining conference contests. BC players readied themselves to finish the job in this game. But the start of the third appeared to be more of the same, with Carey senior Avery Stewart getting the first score of the second half. Teal followed up with a hoop, Rourke got two free throws to put Carey up by 14 with a little more than five minutes remaining in the third. Ratliff's three was promising, but no real hint as to the rally that was to come. A rally led by none other than Pfeiffer. By the end of three, the score was tied at 29. In the fourth, Pfeiffer gave Buckeye Central the lead at the line. After 15 straight Pfeiffer points, it was Julia Evehead extending the lead for BC. Harry would not surrender the game easily. But Buckeye refused to be denied, making clutch free throws down the stretch. A share of the N10 title was assured. The chance to win it outright would come in the next game. The next game was at Winford, and Buckeye Central had no intention of letting up. The outright title was in sight, and championship teams know how to close. The game featured a fine shooting performance by Taylor Ratliff, the program's all-time leader in threes. She led all scores with 18. Claudia Pfeiffer scored 17. Emily Cecil had 16. The sophomore rally concert contributed eight as the Buckets rolled by 32. Given that Emily Cecil and Kate Cecil previously played for Seneca East, their entire high school careers up to this point have come with N10 championships, a clear demonstration that their transition from Attica to New Washington has been a success. Oh uh, yeah, it's definitely been really nice for me and my sister and the girls. They're really great teammates and they all play at a really high level and just have a super, super high IQ level and they're super smart about the game, so it's really fun, especially the guards. It's really fun to get to play with them. The outright N10 title was especially meaningful for senior Kylie Brown along with Ratliff, was on the Buckeye Central team that made the state semifinal round as a freshman. Last year, Brown missed her entire junior season with a knee injury. It definitely was a challenge, like being out the entire season last year, but props to my team. Like, I mean, I was a starter. I didn't do too much offensively, but I was a starter. Like, I was part of the team, and for my team to still go as far as we did and do how we did, like, it's incredible, and I'm so proud of them to be able to do all of that. And now, I would say... I, I am still
still getting back into the swing of things, you know, from, I mean, now I'm settling back in. But it was, yeah, it was really hard to transition, but I'm just glad to be back in. This is what I love doing. I love being with my team. I love playing with my team. And I'm so happy that I can be continuing this journey with them this year. And senior Kendra Ackerman, who in the fall was named the intense top volleyball player, knows the work required for a long journey in postseason hoops. I just say we need to do the little things right, like the details and focus on those so we can put it together for the bigger picture and go farther. And I think this year we've connected on a different level and just really learned to play together more. Again, just continuing the teamwork and working together through it all. Well, the Buckeye Central Buckets will have to work through a challenging Willard District as the number one seed. This weekend, they'll be taking on Lakeside Danbury as after Danbury is able to defeat Mohawk in the first round. Now, if Buckeye Central gets to the district final, the potential opponent, the number two seed, the Seneca East Tigers. Ooh, look out now. We're talking about N10 representing in Division Four.